So getting back to what is the right light for the right application, well, the answer can be all of them. Lecos can be used for front, side, and rear light, as well as Fresnels and PARs. Three-point lighting can be achieved using really any light, even something as simple as track lighting from your local Home Depot. The advantages of using what we call proper fixtures is the control options available to you in the appropriate fixture to achieve the desired result. Generally speaking, Lecos are used for front light and Fresnels are used for rear light. However, as stated before, this is not a set in stone rule and any fixture can be used for front or rear light. For today's purposes, however, we will use Lecos for our front light and Fresnels for our rear light. Today we are talking about three-point lighting. There is a such thing as four-point lighting, but let's leave that for another day, as it may or may not be applicable to your application. Three-point lighting is achieved by, well, you guessed it, light coming from three points. These points are front left, front right, and rear, otherwise known as key light, fill light, and rim light or backlight. What we are trying to achieve is cutting down on shadows across the subject. If the light is only coming from the left side as an example, well then there will be a shadow across the right side. Without rim or backlight, there will be shadows on the shoulders and back. When starting out hanging your fixtures for front lighting, there are three things to consider before fixture placement. How high and far away am I hanging the fixtures? How big of an area am I trying to cover? And how bright do I want this area to be? This will affect the selection of barrel size and fixture wattage. Now the Leco will come in a variety of options with their beam spread being specified in degrees. As stated earlier, the beam spread angle options are, once again, 5, 10, 14, 19, 26, 36, 50, 70, and 90 degree options. Remember, these are a fixed beam angle specific to the lens chosen. There are also lens which are adjustable in their beam spread, and those are called zoom fixtures. A common option would be 14 to 26 degree zoom or 26 to 36 degree zoom, which means you can adjust the angle the light emanates from the fixture. These fixtures are particularly helpful when lighting a specific point, or what we call specials, where no or little shuttering or framing will be employed to achieve the end result. There are many references you will hear when referring to focusing a light. Field angle and diameter, beam angle and diameter, illuminance measured in foot candles, illuminance measured in lux. Today I want to focus on beam angle and diameter as well as field angle and diameter. The differences between the two are, and get ready for this, number one, beam angle refers to the angle between the two planes of light where the intensity is at least 50% of the maximum intensity of the fixture. Diameter will be ascertained after selecting the barrel degree size and throw distance to the stage to create the beam diameter. Number two, the field angle refers to the angle between two planes of light where the intensity is 10% or less of the maximum intensity. This is something we call often ghosting or spill and is not generally considered to be usable light. Field diameter will also be ascertained after selecting the barrel degree size and throw distance to the stage to create the field diameter. Let's say for today's demonstration, I want to light a subject with front light covering approximately an eight foot wide space. And I am able to hang my fixtures approximately 20 feet in the air away from the subject on an angle. When figuring out the lens I wish to use, different lens options will have a different formula to calculate. As an example, if I were to use a 36 degree barrel, I would multiply the distance of throw by 0.47 to calculate my beam diameter. Therefore, using our example, if I were to use a 36 degree barrel at 20 foot throw distance, using the formula 20 times 0.47, I would achieve a beam diameter of 9.4 feet. If I were to use a 19 degree barrel, I would use the formula 20 times 0.26 and achieve a beam diameter of 5.2 feet. These numbers will always be found on the data sheets for the specific barrel that you are using. So getting back to choosing the right lens for today's application, I would choose to use the 36 degree barrel to light my eight foot wide space as I'm achieving a beam diameter of 9.4 feet.